All right, guys, the project today is to add some volume spacers to this uh, RockShox Deluxe Select Plus shock that came uh, standard on my Siskiyou D7. The reason I want to do that is I'm a heavier guy, so to speak, and um, when I'm riding this shock, even with the, the max or getting close to the max PSI on it, I still feel like I'm bottoming out quite a bit on it. So I'm gonna try adding a volume spacer and see see what difference that makes. So I will um, say that I have loosened this ahead of time uh, just to make things a little bit easier. But one tool that you probably will want to use on this project is something like this. A um, this one just happens to be a Craftsman. It's a, a wrench that can wrap around the tool, the the shock, without damaging it. So this this actually worked really well. So I'm gonna loosen up the top and open it up. Okay, so you'll see that there's a this piece here, and then uh, I've got looks like in there already is one that equates to two to two of these already in place. So I'm I'm only going to start out with just adding two of these. Um, so it looks like all I have to do is add it right here slide it on up in there okay and actually it looks like I'm only going to be able to add one so as you can see I've added the one in there and that Probably looks like that is the max I'm going to be able to put on this one. All right, so now it's just a matter of equalizing it, getting it to close back up. And this took me a little bit the first time I did it. Hear it letting loose. And there it is. Adding a spacer to the RockShox Deluxe Select Plus.